hey guys so we're just going to carry on with that uh, tabletop cringe thread because it was it's it was a really long. good thread and, and had a lot of good things and Garb we decided to call a site and thread so yeah fuck which you, we didn't even know we wrote in it until we started reading it <laughs> yeah but let's get into the story BDM gang of crusaders making their way towards a city they will eventually burn down with flaming rats mm. oh no is this you harass Party harasses potato merchant. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck off. Is this he? <laughs> Claims potatoes are heretics and pagans. Paladin interrogates <laughs> potatoes. Smashes potatoes when found guilty of heresy. My face when I interrogate this potato. Is this? this is, that's Garb Go. That was fucking Garb Go. <laughs> yeah, oh, BDM. Yeah, that's Garb Yeah, that, that's fucking deep. Oh, my God. Be me. Town's guard of fantasy town. Pretty good job. Pay is bad, but we get food to drink and barely ever have to fight anything more than the town drunkard. Patrolling the wall one night, hear some people climbing the wall. God damn it, why on my shift? Lean over, try to stab them down with my spear. Suddenly a colourful goblin looking motherfucker launches into my face and grabs my ears. Forces my mouth open and starts to shit. Right, this one wasn't me. This ten guys, okay? <laughs> this one wasn't me, sure? all right? This one wasn't me. I'm not having no more about it, all right? <laughs> I faint from the smell and taste. Hope I die just instead of having to live with what just happened. Seriously, though, and on, there's no chance the rest of the players are okay with what's happening. <laughs> Vote her out and tell the DM. I get wanting to play, but nothing is worth playing this kind of beat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop it. I mean, like, yeah, that's, pre- that's, that's pretty brutal. Aggressively shit in someone's <laughs> mouth. Yeah. Roll 20. <laughs> Start game with new group I met over a local app. DM tells me we're playing a serious setting, pretty grim dark. Most other races are frowned upon, and a sad backstory would be appreciated. Don't like any of that. Usually play happy go lucky character. But, well, I haven't played in half a year. Built human barbarian woodcutter out for revenge after a local lord killed his wife and family covering up for a drunken mistake, leaving him unconscious in the flames. Cringe because I don't really like any of that, but yet again, no games in a year. Fast forward to session one. First other PC I meet is a literal (laughs) cat girl looking for her lost daddy. What the actual fuck? (laughs) I feel bad for oh, him. Oh no! Well, look at session one. Like, okay, we call her. He, like, his head he explodes. Jumps off a fucking cliff and dies. Dies. Yeah. Um. Go up a new one. There you go. Yeah. Job done. Gay men being gay and ruining the entire night by twisting everything into postmodern politics, yet at the same time prefixing every comment with "not to be political." So there you go, Simon. They just shout out. <laughs> Simon Simon with a stupid fucking cat picture <laughs> from, the, from the Facebook group. <laughs> I would say this would be a time. Go ahead, check out the Facebook group. It's actually pretty good as far as memes go. <laughs> but I will warn you, there is a lot of homoerotic um, by Simon. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of homoerotic memes by Simon. He's really into it though. He seems happy. <laughs> we let them do what they yeah, want. Yeah, <laughs> he, he just works away. He just has fun, you know. In middle school. We've learned how to play role-playing games together. Mostly Shadowrun and Palladium's Heroes Unlimited. Home group consists of mostly black and Hispanic kids. White, fat, nerdy kid from school finds out we have an RPG group. Keeps badgering us to let him DM us in D&D. We've never played it. We eventually concede. Fat white DM shows up with his friend, a smelly fat neckbeard. (laughs) Ends up playing Dungeon Crawl where we need to retrieve something for a king. Complete the dungeon crawl and head back to the king for our rewards. Fat smelly neckbeard physically gets on his hands and knees in real life. Bowing, I was 100% uh-huh. sure that said blowing the DM. <laughs> I nearly said blowing. Uh, uh, is this another one about Simon? <laughs> <laughs> Bowing to the DM. Fat smelly begins to roleplay out loud in an old English accent. Refers to the DM as the king. Fat Smelly requests a long sword that can shoot fireballs. I mean, that seems pretty bogger when you're in middle school. What age? I, we don't have middle school. What age is it? Like between thirteen the, and fifteen or something. Mate, it? that sounds bogger as fuck for that age group. <laughs> Let's be serious, guys. Our group never speaks in character because we're not gay. <laughs> we jump Fat Smelly because 
we're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this went. I don't know where that went. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea this where that went. This sounds like this has got Simon's work all go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know this one guy in a server I'm in who's a shit. The dude role plays as a really cringy anime girl at almost any given moment. Even going as far as acting out in places, even being out of character. He also made a lolly character, and he put in her age as unpredictable. And having what did I the, tell you guys? Uh, and having the ability to fly and nothing else. <laughs> look, 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 you know, it's, be- it's, it's difficult being like me, <laughs> always being correct about the weebs. Yeah. It's so difficult. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, that shit got one shot into hell by a lord of change since he wanted to do something. He had a hissy fit over his underage character going up against a fucking greater demon with one ability. But honestly, I planned it out. <laughs> uh, there you go then. Job done. Yeah. <laughs> Mission successful. Game. Heavily homebrewed battle tech system. GM. Middle aged, skinny, bearded. Has a wife and kids. Players. Middle aged, obese, that guy. Middle aged, housewife, vegan. <laughs> Vegan. How did these people get together? <laughs> I don't know. It's quite, a really quite, diver- group. Quite, a, quite a diverse group. You got one? Me, who started tabletop role-playing games last year. Setting. Plays Battletech Universe low-rank Yakuza members. Two sessions, a ton of fun, shootouts and criminal stuff. Third session, the GM says, So you need to steal information from this person. Luckily, this person is hosting a sex party. Oh, <laughs> Christ <laughs> the night. <laughs> okay, I ignore the sex party part and p- start planning on how to get invited. Go to the golf club where the host hangs out and try to persuade him to invite me and other party members. Big Russian guy is there instead, who is also invited to the party. Chat him up and immediately he starts coming on to me. My character is male, by the way. Yeah, mate, you were asking that. We're you were asking that. You, you, you don't were... chat up big Russian guy and not expect to have him. Like, like if you're not going to give up that boy piss... <laughs> You know, you give want, up that you, pussy. <laughs> like you want to be invited to that group, to that uh, that sex dungeon group that they got going on. You you intend to go there to persuade your way in. <laughs> hmm. huh, guys, I wonder where the leverage is coming in. <laughs> Says out of character that this is kind of creepy. You, I sound yeah. so white. Yeah. You, <laughs> oh. Russian guy stops and persuade him to get us invitations as well before going to the party. I tell what happened with the Russian guy and in character and out of character I say that if he tries to fuck me in the ass I'm kicking his ass. Get to the party. Immediately the GM says that my character gets picked up by two sluts and they invite me to go upstairs. Well hey look as far as DM goes like, like he could have done a lot he could have done you dirty. <laughs> he could have done, done you dirty. dirty. Nervously laughing I agree. Situation was better but I was still uncomfortable. Luckily, he didn't go into detail. That guy continues with the actual mission. Gets access to an office by offering to suck a guy's <laughs> cock. His character was male, by the way. He gets into the office, downloads the data from the computer, and also sucks the guy's cock. <laughs> the only detail he describes in the end was, and he finishes the job. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, all I'm saying is, look, Simon, you wanted that shout out. What was you, that... You, um, <laughs> What was that meme that went about ages ago? Was it bro jobs? Bro jobs! <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll get the green text up. Yeah. So, oh, hold on one second. I'll, I'll, we'll put it up at the end of this one for a while. Housewife, her character was male, mingles with a host and gets invited to his bedroom where he has a f- fox swing and a camera. I mean, that, that, sounds, like, that sounds like a Russian yeah. porno setup. That was their carpet on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's character is also invited and from the behest of the GM spanks the housewife's character with a fly swatter while he is in the fuck swing. Spanked so many times, housewife character passes out from the pain. The host and that guy's character go to the host's room. The info from before was not on the first office but there was another computer on the host's room. The guy tranks the host, gets the correct info and shoves a shoves a baton up the guy's ass not in a killing way but the sexual that makes it worse yeah 
We all leave. Look, is there is there, is there a non-sexual way of shoving something <laughs> up some fella's ass? <laughs> like you know, um, let's, let's be serious. We all know that jar video was pure gore. Yeah, but like he was he was doing it for some reason. He was reason. doing it for a reason. Yeah. End of the session. We asked for feedback. I just nervously laugh how it took me five sessions of tabletop role playing games to get to the part where there's a sex party. Much later, find out that I was just in the GM's magical realm. Maybe I'm confusing cringe with being uncomfortable, but I wanted to tell this story. Happened three to four years ago. The GM was still a cool guy, who prepped really well for his games and showed actual passion when theory crafting with my character's ideas. The world and the mystery part of the game. I still try to invite him to my games, but he is busy with other stuff. Same with the housewife. How did you get invited to this? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it sounds like you kind of, like... You kind of just wind up in this situation more than anything. <laughs> I mean, like, like you guys know our opinion when it comes to comers. Like, yeah. you know, it's when it comes to like sex and stuff like that. Like, play. you know, like if you guys are up for it, work away. I don't really give a Be fuck. In a consensual you know group. what I mean? Make sure everybody but wants it, it, the same thing. It's it's just whenever you invite people and it's like, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna sit gonna there and, and the wor- suck and the, uh, my goblin cock. And the worst thing is, let's be honest with you guys. The vast majority of tabletop role playing players are a bit socially inept. Yeah. And well, I don't know when the fuck to actually just stand Stop up well. and just get the fuck out. <laughs> you know, and that's why I think there's so many of these stories like that, yeah. you know. But yeah, let's go to the bro jobs. Bro we? jobs. Driving with friend. Accidentally grab his leg instead of gear stick. We both laugh as I unzip his pants. Park the car while fondling his balls. Friend is laughing because he knows it's just a joke. Start <laughs> start <laughs> sucking his dick on his <laughs> I can't start sucking his dick on this empty parking lot. Almost choking his dick because I'm laughing so hard. Friend is also laughing his ass off. He starts making train noises while yelling Bro job bro job choo choo <laughs> He comes and I swallow it all like some stupid faggot. Kiss my friend and call him a faggot while laughing. Gotta love playing pranks on my friends. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> Honestly, that's one of my favourite green texts of all time. I, it makes me laugh anytime I read it. Oh, it's so it's good. Quality. So, yeah, if any guys are interested in joining the Facebook group, uh, you know, we've got a lot of uh, stuff like this. So yeah. That's what you find funny. I think it's pretty funny. Links down below. Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do, too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Be playing Magic the Gathering with a big autist. Have a rustic study out. He gets madder and madder every time I ask if he plays the one. Eventually he gets really smug and childish and starts saying things like, I added a mana, or why else would I have this land tapped? But never, yes. He keeps laughing like it's the funniest thing in the world, while me and the rest of the table keep asking him what the fuck his problem is. Eventually I have to resort to tell him, if you say anything other than yes to this question, then I will draw. Do you play the one? He gets pouty and says, I can't take a joke. It was one of the most bizarre commander games that I've played. Look, I can um, comment on that. I've never played Magic like, Gathering. We're, we're not Magic players. I'll play some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be tired of being forever DM. Desperate. Friend of mine invites me to a game. There's... They are a furry. Tell me it's a game with a bunch of other furries. Furries never did me wrong, so I agree. DM sets the stage for adventure. Ready to go. Party decides to hit up a tavern for info. Barmaid walks out. Fanboy furries. Everyone but me and friends starts flirting in character and takes them into rooms to fuck. Me and my friends sit there in silent as the rest of the session is ERP. Never again. <laughs> Mate, you're the DM! <laughs> No, he wasn't. He wanted, oh, no, he wasn't. He, okay. He, he just wanted to play. Oh, right, okay. He just wanted to be a he player for play. once. Oh, my God. What a bad experience for a Forever DM. I'd, oh, no. I, I, really, I really feel for Forever DMs. And then whenever they do play, it's a shit game. Yeah, and it's a sh- there's shit people to play with. Be me, paramedic. 
We get an emergency from a local game store. Must be yet another £300 neat to accident an emergency. As soon as we get in, we see this black guy with a kimono robe or something eating fried fish with chopsticks <laughs> while sorting <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh cards by colour. Another man, rather pale, with long greasy hair and a ponytail and wearing a system of a dawn shirt. System of the dime? Yeah, I'm guessing that's what that means. Yeah. It's lying on the floor, laughing manically, surrounded by Starcraft figurines. Turns out the white dude torn a tendon in his scrap blow humeral joint from convulsing too much. The boys hold his legs while I unfold the stretcher. Later that night, sees this thread. Never changed, TG. <laughs> Pretty beast of true. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hope it is true. I hope it is true. I hope it is. So, as always, guys, have you guys ever experienced this? Some uncontrollable cringe, cringe. like, absolute, just something that makes your face go like, <laughs> and you know that feeling. You know yeah, that feeling. let us know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, check out all the links. Check out my channel. I haven't promoted it much, but check out my channel. Oh, I'll yeah, post yeah. once a week. Um, hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. Check out the models. Check out the subclasses. Check out the t-shirts. Oh, and check out the Facebook group because... Simon finally got a shout out because <laughs> yeah, he was very he was very determined on that and he decided I he think it's just Nick Nick Beardy yeah I'll link down below yeah link down below it. anyway but yeah thanks for watching <laughs> see you guys later bye.